So I'm back this week. It is what we like to call here at my school third grade extravaganza week. So today was just comparing fractions using a visual model. All I can say from the meeting is some changes may be coming in the near future. It's because Taylor Swift's new album was released last night at midnight. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Good morning, everyone. My name is Katie. I'm a third grade teacher in the state of Florida. I'm looking at my dull pencil bucket and I'm just amazed right now at how that's full because I sharpened so many last week. But that has nothing to do with anything. You guys are here and welcome to a week in my life. I shared on my little community tab last week. I did not vlog last week because this like my voice right now, it may not sound that bad, but this is the best it sounded in like a week. I totally lost it last week, was hoarse and scratchy and like having to strain just to like teach. And so I definitely couldn't vlog last week because it, when I wasn't teaching, I wasn't talking. Like I was trying to stay quiet. So I'm back this week. It is what we like to call here at my school third grade extravaganza week because we have two field trips in one week. It's gonna be really fun. Today is a normal day. It's Monday, April the 15th. The only thing we have going on today is we're taking our language arts tests because we were supposed to take them last Friday, but then last Thursday, I believe, we had a weather day where there was flash flooding and we had an hour delay, which threw my whole schedule off. So we're taking our language arts tests today and we're starting our new chapter in math. So in a little bit, I need to go review. I've made the slides for it, but I need to go like review the first slide that we're going over. So it should be fun, um, should be a normal day, but then tomorrow we're going to the zoo, which is a big field trip that we like take charter buses to and we'll be gone the whole day, which I'm really excited for, but I'm also excited for this trip to be over because it's a lot of planning, a lot of stuff. So it'll be great when this trip is over, but it'll also be a really fun day. I'm hoping, I'm still a little stuffy in my ears, so I'm hoping that'll be like fixed by tomorrow. Try to pop my ears. Ooh, but I don't know. We'll just see. However I feel is how I feel at the zoo, and I'll take some, some medicine with me. I did go to the Dollar Tree this weekend to get some things for that trip. Well, I got these at Publix because I needed more snacks. I'm almost out of snacks in there for, I have like granola bars that I eat during planning, um, and I'm almost out, so that should take me to the end of the year, which is crazy. And then at the Dollar Tree, I got two boxes of band-aids for my little chaperone bags that I've got to prep this afternoon and a bag of just assorted hard candy because I'm just going to put a little bag together that's like a few band-aids, a few hard candies for my people who are chaperoning other people's kids in their group, which isn't very many because there's a lot of parents going. So a lot of students have their parents attending with them and they'll parents will only watch their own kid, but I do have some groups that are watching other kids and so I'm gonna make them the little baggies this afternoon to get that ready to go. So yeah, it's been a, it was a busy week last week with, with me having a cold and we had a steam night and the um, solar eclipse was last week and we had a house meeting on Friday. So it's been pretty busy and this week's gonna be busy too because we have the field trip on Tuesday, Wednesday will be a normal day um, and then Thursday, is another field trip. It's a local field trip to like a, a tennis center though. And it's a really fun one. It's actually like one of my favorite field trips that we do because we get to watch part of a tennis match and then they have tennis people like set up to do drills with the kids. So it's really fun. And it's just like a, an afternoon, like a 10 to one type trip, not a whole day trip. And then Friday we play the tournament champion for third graders in Newcomb and PE. So that's an extra thing on our Friday, but it's pretty wild because we have this week and next week. And then the next week is the week before testing, and I've got some fun transformations planned for that so we can review. Then the next week is state testing. 
then we have one more regular week and then it's the last week of school. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five more weeks until the last week of school. So we have six weeks left. The end is like coming quickly. Oh, I didn't change my date. That's okay, I can do that. The end is coming quickly and it's pretty wild. So what I'm gonna do this morning is sit down and work on my morning slide. I also figured out, in case you guys are wondering, the last time I vlogged, my mouse wasn't working when I switched batteries. I figured out it's because the USB port on my board is on the opposite side when I got my new smart board a couple months ago. It used to be that all the USBs were right here, but now all the USBs are over here, which means that like my mouse that's connected by one of those little plugins and then Bluetooth doesn't, like the signal doesn't reach. So if I was on the other side of the board, the mouse would work fine. I'm already using an extender just so I can plug my document camera in on this side because this is the side I teach from. Um, and I'm like, dang it. So I need to get like a, another extender or I know I had like a little box that you could like plug it in and then it would have a lot more USBs. I don't know what that's called. It's not an extension cord. Like, I have no idea what it's called, but it's like a USB, you plug it into a USB and then there's a lot of USBs. A splitter, is that what it's called? So I know I had one of those at one point when I was using like a CD player for listening centers my first like two years teaching. Um, so if I have that somewhere still, I can plug that in, but I don't know where it would be because that was like four years ago. So I might look around for that today because then I can have the mouse back here and that would be clutch. So I'm gonna put these things away. I also have these huge boxes because I've been getting things with my like instructional money this year. I, you have to use it by the end of April. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. So a bunch of boxes came in. So I need to like take care of those. Maybe put them in the recycle, fold them down, get my morning slide ready, make sure I know what I'm teaching for math and just get, get ready to go for today. Mondays are always a little overwhelming for me. I start the day off and I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be great. And then I end the day and I'm like, Oh my gosh, that was like a tornado. So if I can get some of these things done, I think it'll be less tornado-y, hopefully. I got a new creamer. I got the English Toffee Bridgerton one <laughs> um, because the new season on Netflix, I don't have Netflix, but the new season on Netflix is coming out. And so now they have like Bridgerton themed coffee. Is it coffee made that I get? I don't even know what brand I get, but they had English Toffee. And I was like, that sounds good. It is pretty good. It's got a good like, it's quite creamy, but it's not over sweet, which is kind of what I was going for. All right, I'm gonna go get some of these things done around my classroom and I will check in with you guys later today. Dang y'all, I found the splitter, but I forgot it was actually for headphone jacks, so. It's not USB at all, so that's not gonna help me. But maybe I can order like a USB splitter or email my tech guy and see if he has one. Um, yeah, because this is not what I thought it was, what I remembered it being. Okay, y'all. I am back home now. I did not check in before I left school today. Take my hair back down and knock this camera up a notch. There we go. I did not check in before I left school today because I spent the whole afternoon working on getting stuff ready for our field trip to the zoo. Um, it was a successful day of teaching. I felt a little bad because it was a reading test day and when they were done with their tests, we did not do that much. Um, I kind of used it as flex time so I could grade, get kids to make up science stuff they didn't finish last week. Um, and then they were working on Lexia and reading for AR, which we didn't do a lot of AR this morning because our math lesson took a long time. So I was like, okay, I think they're okay. And they did really well. Honestly, this crew, um, they can, they can handle like that quiet room atmosphere, like much better than my group last year could. Um, so I was like, okay, this is totally fine. They're being fine. Everything's okay. I got math tests made up, all this stuff. Um, so I felt a little bad because it was kind of a boring day, but I think I got a lot of stuff like handled that I needed to, which was good. Um, so we started the day with our lesson from chapter 14 on comparing fractions, and that went really well. We used models. So today was just comparing fractions using a visual model. So most of our visual models were with fraction tiles. Um, this is actually a lesson that I did 
last year for my observations. So if you're curious to see how does she teach comparing fractions with fraction tiles, I will link the observation vlog up above in the cards because I walk you through a detailed lesson plan um, with that subject. But I kind of did it the same as I did last year. I let the students do the models. I walked around and took pictures on my phone of some of the student models and then I put the pictures under the document camera. We talked about does their model represent the problem? Can we tell which fraction was greater. It was like a story problem. So it was like which amount was greater or who had climbed highest on the wall or whatever the problem was asking. Um, and we discussed it and I put some examples, which I'll show here. And I also put some non-examples of people who like were close, but not quite. Maybe they used the wrong unit fraction or they stacked their fraction tiles wrong. And we talked about what we could do to adjust it, which was good. And of course I didn't call out any student names for students who did the models wrong. So our lesson this morning was like fantastic, very hands-on. So I was like, well, at least we have that going for us because it's just a test day for reading, um, but that's okay. Um, I got a lot of grading done. I graded their tests and their word study quizzes, which is what we do instead of spelling. I had kids make up their re uh, math tests who were gone last week, although our digital platform is like not popping up their grades and that's making me nervous. Um, Cause I'm like, how am I gonna get their, their grade? I can figure it out. I'll have to like log into their account and like get on to figure it out though, which is like kind of annoying because this platform should just work, right? We pay lots of money, so it should just work. But anyways, um, so it was just a whirlwind. And then I spent the afternoon filling this. I've got this lovely tote that's full of um, like little swag bags for my chaperones who are on the bus tomorrow for the field trip. It's got like their name, the name of the kids who are in their group, a little photo scavenger hunt thing, some tissues, some band-aids, some candies, and a pin. So I can give them that when they get on the bus. Hallelujah. And then I filled this backpack up. I don't know what backpack I'm taking tomorrow to be determined, but this is full of my binder that has all of my um, permission slips in it. I've got wet wipes, band-aids, hand sanitizer, um, a DVD for the bus, my sunglasses, like anything from my classroom that I knew I was going to have to take tomorrow. So I spent like half of my day, I think. Wow, I said that so weird. Half of my day, like putting all the permission forms together, double checking to make sure I had the chaperone list ready, making sure, you know, all that stuff. And it's because this is like a mega field trip. Um, it's not like we're going 30 minutes down the road to the zoo. We're like traveling to the zoo on charter buses. So like the big trip of the year. Um, and so we spent a lot of time, we being me and my teacher friends in our office pod this afternoon, getting all of that together. And then I have a few students who aren't going. So I had to get work ready and together for them and like take them down because they're staying with some second grade teachers at our school. Um, and so I had to take them down, show them where they're going to be tomorrow, get some work ready for them, put all that stuff in the second grade teacher's box. There was just a lot going on this afternoon. So that's why I didn't check in. I came home and I went ahead and took a bath because we have Bible study. There's a policeman outside. Hold on. I don't know what that's about. Oh, well, um, came home, took a bath. So after Bible study is over tonight, I will be getting in bed because I have to be at the school so, so early. So that's all I've got from today. Honestly, tomorrow I probably won't check in. I might try to put a couple B-roll um, pieces of footage in, but I'm not going to check in because I'm going to be in full-blown field trip mode. So let's go. Let's go. And after this is over, this is like our main trip and like a huge hurdle for us. And I'm going to feel so much better. So I just thought I'd like update you guys on how the day went since I did it before I left school. Good morning from a different angle of my room today because I'm working while I'm talking. Are we surprised? The zoo field trip was so much fun yesterday and now I'm here getting things ready before the day starts um, because I have a conference this morning and a meeting after school. So I'm starting to go over my math slides, making sure I'm solid on those. And then I will have planning today because we don't have our 
um, grade level meeting during the day. We're having a grade level meeting after school. Um, so, especially because we were at the zoo yesterday, so we were like, I think it'll be fine if we just skip our grade level planning. Um, I just got text and it totally derailed my train of thought. Oh well, I guess just good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm going through math slides, making sure I'm good. Um, I'll go through reading during planning today, make sure I'm really good to go. Math, we're doing comparing fractions with the same denominator, so it should be pretty easy. Um, it should be really easy, honestly. We did a lot with fraction strips on Monday with our lesson, which I kind of described to you when I was folding laundry. And um, today we'll probably do a couple examples with fraction strips and then I'll let them keep them so they can use them like if they need to, to solve them. But since it's the same denominator, I feel like it, this is usually like the easier one where you can just look at the top number and see how many pieces do you have and you can know which one is more and which one is less. Tomorrow will be same numerator and that's where it gets a little bit tricky and they have to really think about like the size of the pieces. But I think this will be a great one to have today. Um, to just be able to do that whole lesson. So there's that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I got some stuff that I still need to grade from Monday because I spent so much time on Monday getting zoo chaperone stuff together. The, tri the trip went off without a hitch. It was pretty great. We just had a little bit of bus issues, but like that's not anything we can control anyways. But all my students arrived, all my parents arrived, all my students checked out. It was perfect. So that's really great and I'm, it was so much fun and I can't wait to hear when they come in about all the fun they had. We did like a picture scavenger hunt. I don't know if I told you that on Monday. And so they were sending pictures all day and so it kept popping up on my watch, which was so fun. Like put your hands up on the zoo train and make a scared face in front of the snakes. And so I know a lot of them had a ton of fun and a lot of parents participated in that, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, I I'm tired because it was a long day and I didn't get home till 6 30 p.m. because all of the kids got picked up by probably like 6 and I came here and like put all my backpack stuff it's currently sitting on the table in there and I need to kind of like sort it out and I knew I had a conference this morning so I was like I gotta get up I can't sleep in I can't hit snooze so here we are it's Wednesday and we're gonna get through this day we're gonna teach it's gonna be normal and then we have another field trip tomorrow I don't know if I mentioned that I think I did um, it'll be a way easier field trip though. So I'll go over those details later and hopefully I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day. Again, we have a meeting after school and I don't know how long that's going to take. So hopefully I'll check in with you guys at the end of the day and let you know how my math lesson went. And then I'm starting all new things in reading today. We're starting cause and effect and we're still reading informational text, but we'll have a new word study. I think we're doing prefixes. So we'll do cause and effect and prefixes this week. And I need to put my cause and effect text in my slides. I know I haven't done that yet before I download them to my board. Um, that's it. That's it. I'm going to be done rambling. I also need to, did I put that on my list? Yeah, yeah. I'm slowly starting to do copies for my transformation days in like two and a half, three weeks. But I didn't put any, I tried to like plan my to-do list out in advance this week because I knew it was going to be busy. So I was like, when, what day did I say I should make copies on that day? And I said I should do it on Thursday, which is kind of interesting. I guess I'm going to do it like before school tomorrow or after school because I won't be here for planning. So I'm like, why did I put that on Thursday? If I have time today during planning, I can start it, but I probably won't. It'll probably be a before school tomorrow thing. Oh, I need to look and see. I had some kids take their math tests and the results were not loading. We take them online and the results were not loading. And so I was a little worried about that, but I need to get those grades in for them. So I need to check on that too. All right, I'm gonna check on that. Oh, let's see. Restoration in progress. Some assessments are still experiencing a delay in appearing. Please visit platform status page for additional information. Great. So that means they probably haven't fixed it. Okay, as of yesterday, most assessments impacted are now populating. Um, well, that's good. That means it's not completely fixed, but at least they're aware of the situation. So I don't have to, because if it wasn't there today, I was going to reach out to somebody at our district who could then reach out to HMH and be like, hey, these tests haven't like been appearing. And I had some kids redo it and they still didn't appear. So, alrighty, I'm letting you guys go because I've got a parent conference in like 15 minutes and I'm going to sit and go through my lesson and hopefully look at these tests. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, they're in here.
I'm gonna go through those tests too and grade those then. Talk to you guys later. Hello from my bedroom again. Um, I apologize in advance if the camera rocks because I right now have it just set up on the bed. So if I lean up against the bed or drop clothing, it might um, sway. So I apologize in advance for that. But I did not check in before I left school today. This seems to be a habit for the school year. So I'm so sorry. Um, days are long and busy. And like I told you this morning, I had a grade level meeting after school. So I decided to update you on everything that I can. As of right now, math was fine. We compared fractions with like denominators and they crushed it. They can do it with models. They could do it on a number line and they could do it by reasoning in their head about the amount of pieces. Tomorrow we do fractions with like numerators, which is where it gets a little trickier. I think I shared that earlier. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but I've got plenty of time to teach the lesson before we go on our next field trip tomorrow. Yay. So here I am with my field trip t-shirt, um, that I just wore yesterday to the zoo and I'm getting it folded and ready to wear tomorrow when we go to a tennis center, but it's a really fun field trip and it's just for part of the day. So that's good. Um, I've got that going for me. I guess I should lay this out though, because I am gonna wear it tomorrow. I don't really need to fold it. So the math lesson went well, we did all that. Um, they read for AR, was great. And then during my planning, I was actually able to make all of my Pokemon copies that I was planning on doing tomorrow. I think I talked about that this morning, except for one, I was watching, um, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the Pokemon transformation was based off of the Pokemon measurement activity that Maylene Call shared on her Instagram. So you should go check out her Instagram because she has that product there. I used it last year to do a measurement day with a Pokemon lesson and my kids loved it so much that I'm like turning it into just like a full Pokemon transformation day, which I hope to share about um, in the near future on my channel, so stay tuned. But I made all the copies for it and then I was watching Maylene was posting things about her measurement lesson because she's about to do her lesson this year and I saw a picture or like a page in her little Pokédex booklets that I was like oh crap I didn't copy that page for mine like I have the measurement pages but I didn't have the like one that I put at the end and I was like dang it so I've got one more page that I've got to copy but I'm glad I at least realized it but I did like the bulk of that copying today which was exciting um, during my planning because I was able to just knock it out. Then I taught the introduction lesson for one of our final like units of study for reading from the curriculum. So that's pretty exciting. We are starting to cause and effect um, with informational texts and then prefixes. So it hasn't been too terribly bad. There's my school jacket. I wore it yesterday on the bus to the zoo and then on the bus on the way home. And I was like, that needs to be washed because I have it's kind of like sitting on it on the bus because I didn't like the way the charter bus seats felt up against my legs. So <coughs> that has to go back to school. Where was I going with this? I've been talking for three minutes and I can't remember where I was. Oh, so the reading lesson went fine. We did cause and effect, um, the informational text, all of that stuff. What else? Um, after that, we had tech time, which was fine. We had lunch, which was fine. Recess, which was fine. And something else. Did we do anything else? I guess that was it. Science, we started classifying animals in the vertebrate category. So we talked about fish, reptiles, amphibians, stuff like that. So we're starting that up. Um, we'll finish, hopefully finish that chapter tomorrow and do like some show what you know pages and brain check pages and be able to quiz on that sometime next week. But yeah, that's it. And then I came home pretty late after that meeting. All I can say from the meeting is subscribe because some changes may be coming in the near future. So subscribe. Um, and then anything else that I, so I just didn't come home till pretty late. David was mowing the grass and then he was so gracious to cook dinner for us. He kind of wanted to try a new recipe. And so he was like, I'll make it in the instant pot. It was pretty good. Um, we had like it's basically like Asian chicken and broccoli with fried rice. He made fried rice. So that was yummy. And now he's at Bible study for the evening and I'm folding clothes. And then I'm probably gonna start to edit this vlog once I sit in bed because it's not quite bedtime. And David said he would take care of the dishes. 
when he got home, bless that man, because I just, dishes are my least favorite chore, which is why I'm standing here folding laundry instead, because this is my chore of choice, is to take care of the laundry. And David's not really a clean as you go kind of person when he cooks, he's not terrible, but I try to clean it as much as I can as I go, and he doesn't do as much of that. And so <laughs> there's kind of a mess in the kitchen, but he was like, I've got it when I get home, don't worry about it. I think he's being really sweet too. Um, so he's gonna take care of that. So I think I'm gonna get in bed and edit because it's been a while since I've edited since I didn't post a vlog last week. And so I wanna kind of just sit and edit and get all caught up on this and see how long I've been rambling to y'all this week because I feel like that's all I've been doing is just rambling. Um, and so I apologize for that. Ugh. It's just one of those weeks, you know what I mean? All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to finish folding the laundry, edit a little bit tonight. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow before we go on another field trip. Once we survive the field trip, all we have left is a strings concert that we're attending on Friday morning so they can recruit some of our kiddos to join strings next year. And then we're playing our students in Newcomb at special area time on Friday. The third grade teachers will play the three top tournament teams and I am not an athletic or competitive person, so I'm a little nervous. I will literally be dreading it, but it's totally fine, totally fine. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning. All right, good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to my morning voice right now. It is currently Friday and this voice is just done. My cheeks are like sunburned, a little rough this morning. <coughs> Still coughing, clearly, but that's okay. So my morning routine this morning is gonna look a little bit different. And the reason why is because Taylor Swift's new album was released last night at midnight. Why she released it on a school night, I'm not sure. If it had been tonight at midnight, I totally would have stayed up until midnight to listen to it, but not on a school night and definitely not after a field trip yesterday. So I decided instead I'm gonna listen to it this morning a little bit while I get ready, which is very different from my usual morning routine because I'm usually getting ready in my bathroom and David's asleep and so I try not to wake him up. So I'm getting ready in the guest bathroom this morning. There's my wonderful setup. My oatmeal, makeup, laptop, because I'm about to listen in the guest bathroom. So that's what we're doing this morning. It's kind of giving me flashbacks to my apartment days, which is kind of funny, um, which then I was thinking is so wild because when I first started vlogging, I was in um, an apartment and then we moved to a new apartment. And in both of those places, I would get ready in the guest bathroom um, because they were bigger than, than the master bathroom, which is kind of weird, but that's beside the point. Um, so this is giving me a little bit of a throwback, but I'm almost done with my face makeup, so I better hurry up. I'm about to turn on Taylor's new album um, and listen and enjoy that for a little bit. I cannot wait to hear what it sounds like because people have been saying it's going to give reputation vibes. Some people were saying it's going to give folklore vibes. I even read someone who said it's going to sound like red and I love red. So I have no idea what it's going to sound like, but I'm looking forward to listening to it for a little bit today and then probably for the rest of the weekend, <laughs> um, except for Sunday, because I don't listen to Taylor Swift on Sundays. So that's like my Sunday Sabbath. <laughs> so I'm going to get that pulled up on Spotify. I also brought my oatmeal in here because I don't have any bananas, so I'm just eating like regular oatmeal this morning, but sometimes it takes me a while to eat it. And so it's like, I'll bring that in um, and just enjoy that and listen to the music while I'm getting ready. Just very different from my usual morning routine. And when I'm done like getting my makeup on, I'll go into the kitchen and like fix lunches. So I'm gonna stop talking and turn the music on because I'm running out of time because I'm working on my makeup right now as we speak. Okay, I decided to check Instagram first. 
just to see if there was any like surprise announcements. It's a double album. What? I'm gonna be listening literally all weekend. There's no way I'm gonna finish. Because the double album is 15 extra songs. I knew there was a 2 a.m. surprise, but I did not expect that. And I'm very much so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a double album. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm very much so a listen from top to bottom type of person. So I'm gonna have to start at the beginning and then keep going because that's how I listen to her music. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Oh, you have no idea how amazing it feels right now to sit down in bed. And I'm apologizing in advance for the glare on my glasses. It's because the window is open to let sunlight in. But oh my gosh, you guys, today was a day. I'm gonna get my water so I can drink some water because I'm so thirsty. All right, I feel like I have run a marathon this week with two field trips in one week and then today we had a strings concert i almost said spring concert a strings concert this morning which was great it was really low key because it was just third grade watching our little strings ensemble um and so that was really fun and then we had the teacher versus kids newcomb game which i am not i mean i am kind of a competitive person but i'm not an athletic person so palm sweaty shaking i was like oh my gosh this is so nerve-wracking teachers won all three games we, it was zero to five because you played a five um, it was zero to five in the first two games. And then the last game, it ended up being four to four, which was so close. It was so intense. Um, and then we pulled out the win, which was really exciting. Um, and then we just kind of made it through the rest of the day. It has been such a week, I'm telling you. Um, but it was fun. We wore like eye black in our house colors. I'll put a picture right here of me all decked out for the Newcomb game. So that was fun. So I got all my stuff ready to go for Monday. I actually have an intern from another teacher's class coming to observe me on Monday. And so I wanted to make sure I had everything ready to go. And I'm pretty sure I do have everything ready to go. Um, and then I came home and I got straight into the shower because I just felt so gross. Cause it's like 90 degrees outside y'all. It's April, April, but I live in Florida. So Am I actually really that surprised? No, it's not that surprising. Um, but it is kind of like, ugh, cause it's so hot. Um, so I got all my stuff ready, came home, showered, been listening to Taylor Swift. I texted David earlier. I was like, we're gonna go get food and find a place where we can like drive through and then eat it in the car and listen to her new songs. Cause 31 new songs, my mind is blown. I mean, it was blown this morning, but oh my gosh, like that's so many new songs in one release. I'm like, that's a lot to digest. It's going to take me a long time to get through them. I listened all the way through like the actual Tortured Poets Department album. And then I haven't started anything from the anthology yet. So I'll maybe start those tonight or David and I will listen to like those same 15 that I've been listening to and then venture into the others tomorrow. But I'm jumping on now just to let you know that I survived this week and I came home and I showered and we're gonna eat and enjoy listening to music this evening. And I'm gonna sleep so good all weekend. Um, and just to close out the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching. This was not the best week to jump back into vlogging after like being gone for a week because it was so interrupted by field trips and other things. But I did it. I vlogged the week and I'll have it up hopefully tomorrow for you guys um, to see. I'm feeling better. And so hopefully I'll be able to vlog next week. It's supposed to be totally normal. I actually turned the page in my planner to write down like in my weekly spread anything out of the ordinary that was going to be happening next week just to have it like all written down. And there was nothing, which was very exciting. Um, it's a busy time at school too. So I have a lot of social media posts that I need to do for school because there were so many things today. So I do have some of that to take care of this weekend. But other than that, um, I'm going to be listening to Taylor Swift, working on my last set of reading slides this weekend. And um, I need to work on an animal project because I'm going to have my students do an animal research project at the end of the year. And so I want to work on my example so it's ready. So I'll be working on those things this weekend. David might be doing some stuff around the house, but that'll be what I do to feel productive. 
Um, but other than that, next week is totally normal, which is good because then the next week is the week before testing. I think I've said this like a bajillion times and I'm doing transformations. So it'll feel good to have next week being normal, if that makes sense. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more content that's coming out later in the future. Um, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.